Now we are going to implement the multinomial Nave bias classifier and for that we have a data set which is named as fetch20 news group data set. Here you can see in the SQLearn library also it comprises around 18,000 news group posts on 20 topics split into two subsets one for training and other in one is for testing. So you can see it from the documentation over here and that I have only done that from SQLearn data set import fetch20 news group and I have stored that in the news variable fetch20 news group or if you want to download the whole data set and then from the test and the te uh, train classes then you can click from here and download that particular file. Next I want to print the keys that what are the keys which are present there in this data set so these are the keys which are there next i'm going to print the target values that what are the target values so target values are actually there are 20 target value which are there and these are the target names which are there Ethism, Graphics, Windows X, Fourscale, Autos, Motorcycle, these are the target names. Now we are not want to operate on all the target names, so I am selecting only four categories on which we are going to perform several operations. So these are the things which I am selecting here from these categories, that is Ethism, Religion.Christian, Graphics and Science.Men. So that I have stored in categories and that I am using as new string. So that is here. Next in news test we use for the test I am using for the test category in the test feature and the subset I have named as test and the categories are same for this. So next if I want to print the keys and also print the new strain target name. So I have to write like this and so now here you can see that these are the keys and these are the target names which are there. Next what I am going to do now there are also in the text so I am going to use the count vectorizer function so that the system or the computer can itself assign the number to the text which are there in this particular field because we know that we can do it with our mind and sense but how will a machine recognize several texts so what it does it it gives a unique number to the value so for that we have to firstly import from the sklearn dot feature extraction dot text count vectorizer and then we have to implement on the train data set and then check the shape of it so let us do that. So here you can see that I have used the sklearn.feature extraction text import count vectorizer and in count vect variable I have stored it and next what I am going to do for the train data set I am going to fit and the transform transform function we use for train.data and then print that. So here you can see that I have written it and next what I have to do I have to print this tf and also I want to print the shape of it. So I have to write like this print x train tf and also print the shape of it. So here you can see that I have written the complete code and as I execute this particular cell here you can see the numbers have been given which have been assigned and uh, all the numbers have been given and lastly we are going to check the shape also that what is the shape. So here you can see that 2257 representing here the number of rows or we can say the number of samples which are there and 35788 represent the number of columns or we can say the unique word and feature and the classes are respectively 0, 1, 2, 3 are the classes which are there. Next what we are going to do we are going to use the TFID transformer and I have explained you also what it does it actually weight the word of the classifier. If any words get repeated multiple times in any text then it find out how much is the contribution to the model in the classification. So let us write for that also. So here you can see that I have written from SQL and feature extraction text import TFID transformer and that I have applied using a variable TFID transformer. In train TFID we have fitted the value of X train TF and then print the shape of it. So here you can see that it represents the same values that means there is no repetition of the words shows that there is no change in the number of words. Next we need to train the model but here we are going to use the multinomial NB in place of Gaussian. So we will simply write from sklearn.navebase import multinomial NB and then we will train and fit our model of this TFID value and new strain dot target value. With the multinomial NB classifier we train our model and while training the model we take two parameters first is the transform data and the second are the category of classes which we classify our text. So here you can see that I have imported the multinomial NB and also in the CLF variable I have stored it and using fit function I have trained the model with the two data sets which are there extrain TFID and the matrix target which is there by which we classify the text. 
after that what we need to do we need to test our model now before testing we have to also transform our data like a train data set if we do not do this then our model will not recognize this data and the chances of error will increase so firstly we will transform our test data like train data so here you can see that I have used the transform function for doing that and next what we do we use a predicted variable and in this variable we always use for prediction so clf dot predict and we predict the x test and here we have tfid and lastly we print this variable so here you can see that an array of prediction has been generated so this is our array which has been generated it classify our test data into classes we have and you can also use any other text other than the text data or the test data now we can use to check the accuracy of our model that what is the accuracy and for that we import from the sklearn.matrices and we import the accuracy score for it and for printing the confusion matrix similarly we take it from the sklearn so here you can see that I have written the code for it and this is very simple which we do for all the model as lastly after training and testing and predicted value. So you can see here that this is the accuracy 83% which is quite good and all the diagonal values represent that these are the correct prediction of the confusion matrix and rest represent the incorrect prediction. So this is the complete set of code for the real world data set which we used of 20 news group and this whole code is also mentioned and written in a form of tutorial in our official website and the link will be given to you in the video description. This is all about Nave Basin classifier using multinomial classifier.